I'm Callie Nelms with Hilltop Seeds in Southwest Nebraska. It's a pretty beautiful day here in Indianola. A little breezy, of course hot, and we are definitely lacking in the moisture department. We did get a little bit of a drink here earlier this week for some folks. We definitely could use some more. This week, I've just been kind of out checking the fields where we were seeing some heavy western bean cutworm pressure, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit. We had some fields in the area that had quite a bit of pressure, and we did treat them. And then we had some other fields that we didn't think it was necessary. So I'm just kind of out seeing in those fields that we treated what our control was and those other fields, um, what our pressure is at this point. Typically we see Western bean moth flight peak mid July. And at that point, if timing's right, we'll put on an insecticide if we deem that it's at the treatment threshold, which is usually about 8% of plants in your field. Of course, it's too late for that now, but now is a great time to go check and see what your pressure is for next year if you didn't treat or even if you did treat. Research has shown us that with Western bean cutworm, if you have just one per plant, you can see by the time your corn reaches dent, you can see as much as 3.7 bushel yield loss. So it's definitely something that is a concern in our fields. And of course now is a great time to start planning for next year. And some of those, some of that information can really help us make a lot better decisions. So I mentioned insecticide being one way we can help control Western bean. The other one is something right from the get-go, and that's choosing a BT corn hybrid with proteins that actually are active against Western bean cutworm. So Channel has a couple hybrids with our Triceptor trait, and those fields have shown really good control, and those fields have not needed treatment. So that's something if you get out there, or your channel season gets out there and assesses your fields and seeing that that might be an issue for next year, that's definitely something to look into.